Have you ever wanted to reproduce those pop-ups that come up whenever you get new emails or those pop-ups that come up whenever you set, let's say, an alert of some kind in a stock trading app or any kind of app where things go on in the background while your end user is working and you want to bring something up to their attention, something that the end user can configure if you provide them with that functionality in your app to show pop-ups with messages of various types throughout the usage of your application. Well, you can definitely do that by using the the Win Desktop Alert control that we have here. So to get started using it, and I'll show you how easy it is actually, I have a form that I threw a timer on here. And again, because this is just the scope of this video is to teach you how to use the Desktop Alert control, I figured I'd make it easier by having a very simple form with a timer. And when the form loads, I start the timer and then it ticks once every 10 seconds and that's where all the actions going to happen in the timer tick events but in a real app let's say if um, you know new orders come in you might pull once every minute or so and if new orders come in you could use that data and construct your desktop alert that way so there's many other ways of doing it but this is a sample so keep that in mind so let's locate the control name in the toolbox is called ultra desktop alert and that's right here double click it and it's a component that gets thrown in the component area and I'm not even going to set any properties on it let's just jump right into code and, and show you how easy it is to get started so in order to show it you call the show method so you call the show method and then it takes a couple of arguments you can create and instantiate window info objects here the uh, ultra desktop alert show window info type and then you set properties on it like text caption image and a bunch of other things or you can go with a simple overload here where you just pass in a caption that shows up on the title area of the window and then the text that is a little bit more verbose and then you could do this guy right here which is what I'm gonna do so I'll start off with a caption of new alert and new and then I'll just grab an image and that's all we need to do so I can run the application you're gonna have to wait 10 seconds whoops one more of these and we're good to go so now I run the application and we just have to waste 10 seconds of time while this ticks so the good thing about this is that you can create you, you could add this functionality to any type of application that you have where events kind of tick in the background and here it is this little guy just popped up in the corner you could set properties for where you want it to show and now another one popped up because now it's ticking every 10 seconds so you could close it you could move it around the screen and just before it's about to close you can also move your mouse over it notice how it fades in fades out fades in fades out so that's how you can get started quickly let's actually set some properties on here to see what other things we can achieve so back to the forms design view click on desktop alert and if I scroll down you're going to notice that there's all sorts of infragistics appearance based properties that you will always find throughout our Windows Forms API's and once if I just go to any one of these it's all the same API, so it's a very core, fundamental API member that is throughout the entire Windows Forms control set that Infragistics has. And once you learn, and once you understand what these all do, various back colors and um, transparency levels and image and font info and text alignment and all that kind of stuff, and once you see that what those properties are everywhere you encounter the word appearance it's the same thing style that's the property I wanted to show you so let's jump to Windows Live Messenger that's the other the default is Windows 2000 or Office 2007 let's jump to Windows Messenger so it's a slightly different style if you don't like any of these two styles you could always kind of customize it yourself by providing a window size and and you know this one here is down below you can't really move it so you close it out but again you could create your own custom style by you know setting properties such as the window size the header and 
content area and all that so you could be very um, complete with this so notice if like multiple items pop in one after the other with this style it kind of shows up on top of the existing one so that's what happens here notice the animations as well so now that you know how to use this control or at least know the basics of how to get started with it um, there's no reason why you can't just start using this in any one of your apps where you have um, events that take place, events where data is updated or events where new information that the end user should know about comes in. Infragistics. On the web at infragistics.com.